So hello people, this is Moskablock and you are currently joining me on a night drive in the beautiful Kia Stinger GT and I'm freezing to death because it's minus 5 degrees Celsius out there and we will do a night drive of this Kia Stinger GT that I reviewed and I will show you how it behaves at night. This is how it looks with the, with the lights off. We have a little bit of ambient lighting, I set it to green because the car, the car is outside green the car from the outside is green uh, you can choose any color you want you have a color wheel and you can put any color you want in there we have a camera for the blind spot every time you do like the blinker the blind spot camera comes on every time you turn on the indicator and yeah let's now take it for a night drive and see how this car feels at night I've told you already my impressions on the in the review this car really surprised me it's the best value for money honestly this car has a new price of 60,000 euros which is basically a bargain i have a heated steering wheel heated seats uh, ventilated seats even heated seats even in the back and one of the most coolest features that i really like is when i put it into sport the seat starts grabbing me it becomes tighter so it grabs you so now let's see how this car sounds beautiful noise from the 3.3 v6 we have in here like it's a really a beautiful noise it's not loud but like it's not really really loud but the noise that's coming the sound it's really sounding good this 3.3 v6 petrol engine I really like it honestly it's really really cool this Kia and one of the coolest features also but I don't know if it's really useful but it's such a cool feature is is that they give you some Kia music so this is now walking through a snowy path you can also listen to some forest noises listen to the beach to the ocean so we have some rain and we can sit outside in a cafe oh and we also have this i forgot about this isn't that really cool Honestly, if you just want to vibe to some snow noise. This is so cool, honestly. So now let's vibe to the V6. Oh my God, it pulls amazing. We need to slow down here. There's a lot of leaves on the ground. It's minus five Celsius. Oh, I really like this car. It's honestly the best value for money and it feels fast as well. Like I've told you in the review, it feels fast. It is fast. It's sounding really nice. This car was given to me by Kia, Kia themselves. I'm really grateful for that. How do you like this car, especially now at nighttime driving? Let me turn on some lights for you. So you can listen, so you can see a little bit more. Uh, what I also really like is that we have full metal shift pedals. No plastic, no gimmick. It's a metal shift pedal, which, which is really, really cool. Also, we have a little Alcantara roof lining here, which is, you will never see this in this price segment that you have an Alcantara roof lining. This is actually an amazing feature for this car and it makes the value of it, what you're getting, the value for money, really, really good. So let's now floor it again, if we can see straight here, if we can see straight here. It pulls really hard, it sounds really good. Obviously, it's not pulling like an M5, but I really like how it's pulling and it's agile and nimble as well despite the weight like the steering is really really light 
which I really, really like. Which everybody needs to like. And we have a thin, uh, a thin steering wheel here, not like a really thick one which you can barely grab or stuff. It's really thin, really sporty. Let's now turn around here and then go back, give it some throttle on the way back. Doesn't this sound really good? Honestly now? Doesn't this car sound really, really good? Especially for like the value for money and what you are expecting and what you are getting? I think it sounds so, so good. Kia is currently heading on to a new direction. This is why they also changed the badge. They didn't make cars, like they made the Stinger, yes, but they, they refined it in a perfect way. This is the facelift. I've already spoken about this stuff on my review, like the bigger screen here and stuff. They've refined this car really well. They didn't make cars like the EV6 GT. And despite them now making really, really cool cars, they are still the best value for money. Like the EV6 GT is 70K euros, 70,000 euros. Or you can spec it even cheaper, I think. It's around 70,000 euros and you get 585 electric horses and a zero to 100 in clearly under four seconds. I think it was 3.5 or 3.4, which is crazy, especially for it being like an SUV shape. And this Stinger GT is also driving really, really good. A lot of, a lot of uh, equipment there from the base like heated steering, steering, uh, heated seats and stuff. It's like the base, it's really, really cool, honestly. So people, let's now do a little race start, a little launch control. This car doesn't have this feature, but let's do it anyways. It's spinning up already. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so fun. Did you see how it spun up? Did you see how it spun up its wheels? <laughs> that was funny. That was really, really funny, really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> so people, if you've enjoyed this night drive, please, please make sure to check out the reviews of this car as well and the Autobahn high-speed videos coming. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram so you can see all these cars before they are even on YouTube. I, I have a lot of videos of these cool cars on YouTube, uh, on my Instagram. Make sure to follow my Instagram. It's most car vlog, like on YouTube. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.